Welcome back to the front porch where you can see your breath and some beer. I'm Michael Dawson. This is another two minute beer review for the Beer Engine Blog.com. Today we have Inevitable Conclusion Double IPA. I'm going to ask you, citizens, to extend me the benefit of the doubt when I tell you that this beer at racking was totally clear and bright before I dry hopped it. I apologize for the collar noise. Dog is my co-pilot today. I'm going to admit my bias before I start the timer. Double IPA, it's not my favorite style. It's a little too boozy, a little too hoppy, it's a little too too much for an everyday drinker. But because we should face what we fear, because we should turn that eye inward and overcome, because we have so much yeast and hops, there's nothing else we can do. It's the inevitable conclusion. Timer starts now. We have a really nice, deep, golden color that's 100% Maris Otter. And it does a pretty brave job overall of fighting through all those hops. This was dry hopped and uh, hopped pretty lavishly at five minutes as well with a mix of Citra, EXP5256, Galaxy, and Simcoe. The proportion of fruity to piney was higher in that five minute edition, but in the dry hop it was reversed. There were more piney and dank components than there were fruity. So it does this interesting thing where it's real sappy. Uh, juniper was a word that my buddy Dono gave me. Um, dank, cat pissy, arm pity, piney. It's piney in the nose, but then when you take a sip, the flavor breaks more toward that tropical fruit that you expect from galaxy and citrus. You get more passion fruit, mango, guava, uh, kind of like Humex fruit juices kind of cane sugary, very fruit juicy, really tropical. Uh, that to me makes it a little more balanced, a little more, little more of an everyday <laughs> double IPA, if there is such a thing. This went from 1078, upper 1070s or so, down to a final gravity of 1012 for uh, an ABV of around 8.5. So it's, it's, not really a subtle beer on paper. It, it tastes a little more approachable and a little more easy drinking than it actually is, which, which can be problematic. Although on a, on a day as chilly as today, I'm kind of grateful for that oomph. We are just about out of time. If any of you guys have tried a recipe like this or have any tips or tricks or preferences for your own double IPAs, hopping regimens, and hop blends. Love to hear them. Share them in the comments below where I will hyperlink the recipe to this beer. Until next time, cheers. Hops.